those ways to which the industries polluted the environment industries polluted environment so suggestions in relation to the conservation of the environment suggestions in relation to the conservation of environment so in relation to the conservation of the environment what are the ways to which as we can protect our environment from the further depletion depletion so what are the ways to which as we can protect our environment the conservation of the environment from the depletion so <clears throat> as we read earlier the ways to which as the environment polluted through the industries environmental pollution environmental pollution is the overcome of industrialization the rate of industrialization impact over a nature over a nature the rate of industrialization is factor uh, <coughs> then the rate of which the environment can recapture itself the foremost duty of a man as a consumer is to protect environment from its slow death pollution it can be as prevented by careful and throughout the planning and locating the industries better technology design of machines processing appropriate selections of fuel increase use of biodegradable materials chemicals etc growing population absorbing the plants in large numbers near the industrial establishments and water bodies will definitely reduce as a pollution so our uh, to our efforts we can move towards as the sustainable development and achieving as the protection of a environment from depletion for which as we have to emphasize over the recycling and reusing first recycling and reusing the water in industries by installing water treatment plants in various stages water treatment plants in various stages second increase the use of a rain water harvesting increase use of rain water harvesting rain water harvesting techniques and replenishing the underground water in third chapter of a geography we discussed the different ways through which as we can opt as a rain water harvesting techniques rain water harvesting techniques that rain water which is as a waste out such water it can conserve and use for a completion of a domestic as well as industrial needs so in this chapter we learned as the underground chambers are built in rajasthan through which the that water which has stored in a basements of houses it is used for it is used for a replenishing the recharging the underground water and second that water it can use for a domestic uses also domestic uses also in tamil nadu rooftop rain water harvesting techniques are opted in which the uh, roofs are used for a collection of a rain water such roofs are connected with the pipes with the underground chambers through which water moves towards the inside the earth and through percolation it recharges the underground water level it recharges the underground water level yes can anybody tell me about the what we call to have such kind of a rain water harvesting techniques which are opted in a parts of a west bengal opted in west bengal yes bisam joshing what we call to the such type of a rain water harvesting techniques used in a west bengal for conservation of a rain water that water it has used for a it has used during the time of a uh, emergencies or seasons bisam joshing rain water harvesting repeat it rain water harvesting can you spell it 
inundational channels inundational channels these are the ditches are construct along the agriculture fields for collection of a rain water in west bengal inundational channels i w n u d a t i o n a l inundational channels are built along the agriculture fields for collection of a rain water during the off season that water it is used for a irrigate the land for irrigation purposes that water as a used in a parts of a west bengal clear rain water harvesting techniques are used for a completion of a water necessities for a domestic as well as industrial uses third minimizing the use of a minimizing the use of a water for processing reusing and recycling it into the two or more successive stages so different strategies has to up for a reusing and recycling of a water which has discharged from a industries to which as a that water it can as a reusable industrial waste water it can reuse for a reuse again in a industry same as domestic waste water domestic waste water it can be supported for the agricultural purposes any example in punjab there is a social activist sant balbir singh sichewal put their efforts for a improving or reusing the domestic waste water domestic waste water for agricultural purposes in a villages of a tarantaran district he put their efforts for a set up the such kind of a water treatment plants through with the domestic waste water domestic waste water it is as the freed from the pollution and used for a irrigation purposes irrigation purposes when that water it percolates beneath the layers of earth crust it also recharging the underground water underground water also clear third fourth now the treating hot and warm water before discharging towards as a rivers such warm water which has discharged from the iron steel industries thermal power stations and a nuclear reactors nuclear reactors atomic reactors so after the addition of a nuclear energy the hot water warm water which has discharged it should be as a cools down before discharging in a river water because when that hot water discharge in a river water it affected the aquatic life aquatic life which changes the temperature of the water body fifth is a pollutant absorbing vegetation should be planted pollutants absorbing vegetation it should be as a planted in a such areas where waste water industrial waste water industrial waste water it has discharged in a larger quantities discharge in larger quantities sixth is a treatment of industrial effluents it can be done in a three stages treatment of treatment of industrial effluents it can be as a done at a three stages primary stage primary stage includes primary stage includes grinding screening flocculation sedimentation of waste by the mechanical means by mechanical means clear secondary stage includes as a biological processing secondary stage includes the biological processing yes tania sir ek bari ye stages aur wo process sara repeat treatment of industrial effluents industrial effluents it can be as occur at a three stages first stage first stage primary stage which includes screening grinding flocculation sedimentation sedimentation through mechanical means secondary stage by biological processes biological processes biological processes and tertiary stage tertiary stage tertiary stage includes biological chemical and physical processing 
physical processing this process is based on a recycling of waste water recycling of waste water recycling of waste water through this as the water treatment water treatment water it can be used in a industries water can reuse in industries water it can reuse in industries for cooling purposes for cooling purposes for cooling purposes particulate matters in air it can be as a reduced by fitting smoke stacks to factories smoke stacks s t a c k s smoke stacks particulate matters in air can be reduced by fitting the smoke stacks to factories with electrostatic with electrostatic precipitators electrostatic precipitators fabric filters scrubbers inertial separators inertial separators inertial separators proper fuel selection is also required proper fuel selection is also required we can use the oil or gas instead of coal machines of different kinds can be fitted with silencers fitted with silencers redesigning of a machines and equipments is also essential essential most number of the minerals these are wasted at the time of a extraction extraction processing and consumption so we have to use as a modern technology we have to emphasize over the modern technology through which the wastage of a minerals at the time of extraction processing processing through which the mineral when we generate the electricity processing and consumption we can as a reduce we can reduce extraction processing and consumption nature gives us the substances substances and the conditions to survive in a healthy surroundings and develop the resources so we must not to selfish and greedy and take steps for its preservation we have to save our natural environment for ourselves as well as for our future generations so to follow as a such ideals the government of india it was set up as ntpc national thermal national thermal power corporation national thermal ntpc founded by the government of india for a preservation of the nature conservation of a nature national thermal power corporation corporation which is an important power providing corporation in india it has the iso certified indian statistical organization certified certified which work for the environment which work under as the environment management system environment management system this corporation has a proactive approach for preserving the natural environment and resources like water oil and gas water oil and gas so this organization has worked through the following ways first minimizing the waste generation by maximizing ash utilization ash utilization second ecological monitoring reviews and online database management 
for all its power stations third optimum utilization of equipments adopting the latest technologies and upgrading the existing equipments fourth fourth reducing the environmental pollution through ash pond management ash water recycling system and liquid waste management liquid waste management and fifth providing the green belts for nurturing the ecological balance and addressing the questions of a special purposes vehicles for afforestation for afforestation sixth to check upon to check upon functioning of sixth to check upon functioning of industries especially those especially those industries which emit smoke in larger quantities smoke in larger quantities larger quantities and such industries are following such industries are following safety measures safety measures for protection of environment like safety measures for protection of environment like use of filters in chimneys use of filters in chimneys which restrict to move the solid waste solid waste like as a dust particles ash directly in atmosphere use of filters in chimneys c h i m n e y use of filters in chimneys second height of chimneys height of chimneys c h i m n e y height of chimneys and third such industries smoke emitting industries it should be as a located away from the settlement areas far away from the settlement areas clear this was our chapter manufacturing industries is that clear manufacturing industries this was our chapter now the question answers any questions question answers which of which one of the following industries uses the limestone as a raw material as cement which is used as the gypsum silica gypsum silica and a limestone as their raw materials first cement which one of the following agencies markets the steel for the public sector plants sale steel authority of india limited steel authority of india limited third which one of the following industries uses the bauxite as a raw material aluminium smelting aluminium smelting fourth which one of the following industries manufactures the telephone computers it information technology based industries which are most most number of our industries are concentrated in a parts of a karnataka in karnataka telangana andhra pradesh and tamil nadu and tamil nadu such areas which are known for the software technology parks question number 2 what is as a manufacturing manufacturing are the processes which are used for a transformation of a raw material into the usable items into the finished goods is known as a manufacturing gaining in a cotton textiles is a manufacturing process gaining spinning weaving tailoring are the manufacturing processes used for a transformation of a raw material into the usable items finished goods second is name any three physical factors for the location of industry raw material climate water water name any three human factors for the location of an industry nearness of a market availability of a capital government policies government policies growth of a means of transport what are the basic industries those industries which are provide as a base to the economy support to economic growth of our country 
are known as a basic industries. R and steel industries are the basic industries. Their goods are used for setting up the infrastructure and manufacturing of machines. Manufacturing of machines. So for which as a basic industries, R and steel industries, their products are used. Clear? And last fifth has named the important raw materials used in manufacturing of cement, limestone, limestone, silica, gypsum. Silica, gypsum are used for a manufacturing of a cement. Manufacturing of cement, which has marked on page number. Yes, silica, gypsum, and limestone are the raw materials basically used for a manufacturing of a cement. Manufacturing of cement. Next question. How are the integrated steel plants different from the mini steel plants? What problems does the industry face? And what recent developments have led to a rise of the production capacity? So how are the integrated steel plants are different from the mini steel plants? Integrated steel plants are the large scale manufacturing units of iron and steel. Manufacturing units of iron and steel where different processes associated with the transformation of a transformation of a iron ore into the different products are shaping in a same place. Same place. These are the integrated steel plants and the mini steel plants. Those small scale scattered units, small scale scattered units, which are used for a, which are used for a smelting of a iron, smelting of iron from its raw stage, raw stage to the sponge iron or pig iron. It's known as a mini steel plants. They are known as the mini steel plants. Mini steel plants. Second part of a question, what problems does the industry face? And problems means challenges faced by the iron and steel industries in India. Erratic power supply, first. Erratic power supply, first. Second, shortage of raw material. Are 60 percentage of iron ore exported towards the, exported towards the, Japan and North Korea, which is as a challenge to the iron and steel industries, high cost and a limited availability of a cooking coal for iron and steel industries is a problem associated with the iron and steel industries, low productivity of a labor, irregular power supply, er erratic power supply, next poor infrastructure, poor infrastructure, is a barrier, is an obstacle for a growth of a iron and steel industries. Iron and steel industries. Barrier towards the iron and steel industries, their growth in India. Next, third part of a question is what recent developments have led to a rise in a production of production capacity? So what recent developments have led to a rise in the production capacity in relation to the iron and steel industries, iron and steel industries. Yes, iron and steel industries with the liberalization and the FDI, liberalization and FDI, the iron and steel industries are becomes as the fastest growing industry in India, which generate as a more number of a job opportunities, more number of a job opportunities, and set up the manufacturing units in India through which India has earned their good profit margin. Such profit margin, it may be as an increase in future. Increase in future. How do the industries pollute the environment? all five forms of uh, pollution, water pollution, land pollution, noise pollution, land pollution, water pollution, thermal pollution, thermal pollution. You, you have to explain in this question. And last question, discuss the 
steps to be taken to minimize the environmental degradation which has marked at the last page of a chapter last page of chapter these points those six seven points which we discuss in class clear this was your chapter manufacturing industries any questions manufacturing industries this was your chapter manufacturing industries your next chapter third chapter of geography as a lifelines of indian economy lifelines of indian economy lifelines of national economy means of transport and communication consider as a lifelines of economy lifelines in the sense the role of a veins and the arteries in a human body as to transmit the blood in different organs those parts of a body which are not which are not having as a blood circulation it becomes as a dead so same as the means of a transport these are the lifelines of economy those parts of a country where where goods and passengers they can't as reach such part it will be as a it can't grow such parts of a country it will be not grow under those conditions when the means of transport are not developing in a uh, areas for example for example means of transport are used for uh, importing the material from the production sites towards the industry and afterwards the industries towards the industries towards as the port cities for which as railways roadway networks are necessarily required for growth of economy for growth of economy this is as the previous chapter chapter has broadly divided into the two parts the means of a transport means of transport and communication and communication means of transport and communication means of transport divided into three parts three parts land water air land divided into three parts railways roadways and pipeline transportation pipeline transportation pipeline transportation pipeline transportation waterways divided into two parts inland waterways and international waterways international waterways international waterways air base again divided into two parts domestic air base within a country domestic air base and international air base international airports are there domestic airports are there adampur airport is a categorized under the domestic air base amritsar categorized guru ramdas international airport amritsar which earlier known as the raja sansi international airport categorized under the international category of airports communication are of two types personal and a mass communication personal and mass communication this was our chapter very simple personal and mass communication this is as the mind map of our this chapter lifelines of national economy So this is as a easiest chapter.